turn to new developments on the financial concerns over 38 studios. State officials now mulling whether to help Curt Schilling's company after yesterday's emergency meeting of the Economic Development Corporation. I would just news reporter Nicole Estefan is back outside of EDC headquarters this morning with the latest. Well, there certainly is a lot to consider here for the state. If that company were to go bankrupt, it would be the state of Rhode Island that would be on the hook for millions of dollars. You talked all your life. Why don't you turn around and be a man right now? The Rhode Island taxpayer. Run it away. A crush of reporters looking for answers after hours behind closed doors discussing the status of Kurt Schilling's 38 studios. He left without answering those questions. The gaming company moved operations from Massachusetts to Rhode Island with the lure of a $75 million taxpayer back loan. Earlier this month, the company missed a payment to the EDC of more than a million dollars. That set off worries that the company may be in financial trouble, and we've learned that that is, in fact, the case. Governor Chafee, as well as the EDC, must now decide if helping 38 Studios is in the best interest of the state. That's what all the board members debated for all those hours behind closed doors. What? How do we avoid throwing good money after bad? And that really is the big question here. The EDC did not come to a decision yesterday. They will be discussing this over the next few days, and they have a regularly scheduled meeting on Monday. Live this morning in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.